Now the solutions, we talked about what the graphs look like, and the solutions will be the intersections. If you have no intersection, no solution, we call this inconsistent. If you have a single solution, a single point solution, we call this consistent and independent. And we're going to find out very soon what, no, what free variables are. But if you, if you have a single point solution, you are consistent with no free variables or zero free variables. If your solution is going to be a line, you would be consistent. We call this dependent with one free variable that the solution depends on. If you're going to have a plane solution, meaning two-dimensional solution, it would be consistent with two free variables. And you can think of the free variables as the dimensions of freedom. If you have one free variable, you can go in one direction, forwards or backwards in one direction. If you have two free variables, you could go in two different directions, and that would form a plane. So here is some examples of systems that are in a very nice, easy-to-read form. So what does inconsistent look like? And these are a system here. x plus y equals 3. That looks totally fine. 0 equals 4. That's not fine. There is no xy value that makes 0 equal 4. So right there, that second equation is what makes it inconsistent. What does single point solution look like? You get a value for x, a value for y. If we're in three dimensions, you would have a value for z. If we're in four dimensions, you would have a value for each of your four variables. That would be a single point solution. And this is what I call the, hap the happier, uh, the happy ever after ending right here, where you have no free variables to worry about, and you just get number, 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 and that's your solution. One free variable, what does that look like? x and y uh, are, could be certain uh, values to make this one true, it doesn't matter what x and y are to make 0 equal 0. x and y have no effect on 0, so this second equation is not relevant, it gives us no additional information on solving uh, this system. So you could think of this as extraneous. So we don't need to look at this. How does this differ from inconsistent? Inconsistent was not 0 equals 0. Inconsistent was 0 equals 4, which obviously that is uh, not true. So that's what made the first one inconsistent. Same first equation, x plus y equals 3, but our uh, second equation, we already knew 0 equals 0. So this, we don't even need to consider that. x plus y equals 3. This has one free variable. It looks like it has 2. But when we say one free variable, if you pick what y is, you could pick any number you want for y. How do I figure out what x is going to be? You pick whatever you want for y, and then I will tell you what x needs to be. You can pick 0 for y, x has to be 3. You can pick 1 for y, x has to be 2. Any number you pick for y, I can tell you what x is. And in this equation, it's pretty easy to figure out what x is if you know what y is. So that's why we call this one free variable. Looks like we have two, but really you can pick values for one variable and that determines the value for the other. So there's only one free here. Here's another example with one free variable. We have three variables now, x, y, and z. One free variable. Why do we have one free variable here? If I use elimination, I can eliminate y and z pretty easily. And then you'll see that x has a certain value. If I just subtract here, I would see x has to equal negative 1. So we're going to look more at this later um, as to exactly why there's a free variable. It comes down to looking at the columns right here. So these actually fix x and y. z, there's nothing here to fix z. So z is going to be free. And this will make a lot more sense when we look at matrices. Two free variables. We have no other equations here. It could have a bunch of 0 equals 0, 0 equals 0, 0 equals 0, but those wouldn't matter. Two free variables. If you picked any z and any y, I could tell you very easily what x needs to be. It would just be 2 minus the y minus the z that you picked. So this would have two free variables. We're not going to look very much at, solution, uh, at systems in this form, so you don't need to worry. Um, about how to determine how many free variables you get from these forms. We're going to look in a row-reduced matrix.